This is always, this is a special night. This is always a magic night for our network. And this is the night on which the premiere of a new season of Dancing with the Stars has begun. This is a show that proves the stars really are just like us. And by that, I mean they can't dance either. This, <laughs> our dance card this time around includes the former Bachelorette, Hannah B., former L.A. Laker, Lamar Odom, former NFL star, Ray Lewis, a lot of formers, perhaps most notably, <laughs> Former White House press secretary Sean Spicer is dancing this year. He will be paired up with Lindsay Arnold. And sometimes I feel bad for the dance partners on the show because, you know, they grow up working, practicing, working hard, dreaming of one day becoming a professional dancer, and then they wind up having to do it with Donald Trump's dopey press secretary. <laughs> you think this is going to be one of their categories? Like, they always have an NFL player. They always have an Olympic athlete, uh, an, a grown-up child star. Now maybe they will always have a sad former member of the Trump administration. <laughs> now, I, if I was in charge of the show, I would have paired Sean Spicer up with Stormy Daniels. That, to me, was a big miss. We get to see the president's three favorite boobs on one show together. <laughs> Thank you. Right. But what's most important is not the dancing. It's the gambling. Over the past 80 or so years this show's been on, I've won many thousands of dollars betting on it. For real, every season before a uh, fox has been trotted, I predict which dancer I believe has what it takes to bring the mirrored ball trophy home, and I bet on it, and I'm good at it. I'm even better at this than I am at sex, and I'm really very <laughs> one of the top guys. So earlier this afternoon, uh, at the stroke of lunch, I wrote my pick on a piece of paper, which I folded carefully and placed inside a tiny briefcase. That briefcase was then placed inside Guillermo's mouth, where it has been kept safe for quite some time. How long has that briefcase been in your mouth, Guillermo? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and how was your weekend? Did you do anything fun? No. Okay. <laughs> it's time for the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. This is very suspenseful. It could be anyone, really. Guillermo, how's that briefcase holding up in your mouth? Mm. OK, in just no a moment, I will announce the winner of season 294. And that winner will be Guillermo. Oh, Jan uh, James Van Der Beek. James. is the man to ban the beef. <laughs> and, James, I don't want to put any extra pressure on you, but if you don't win this for me, you are going back up Dawson's Creek without a paddle, and that's a promise. <laughs> I am Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button, and if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.